Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 3, Database Management System, Part 3. Content of the session is DBMS Database Model. Let's recall, what is a database? Database is a collection of tables. A table is a two-dimensional structure that contains several columns and rows. Here the vertical thing, student ID, student name, student age, student class, student section are said to be columns. Another name for column is attributes. The horizontal thing, it's said to be a record or a row or a tubule. So all together is said to be a table. So you know what is a table. Now let's see. What is database model? So the database model is a type of data model that determines the logical structure of a database and fundamentally determines in which manner data can be stored, organized and manipulated. So the database model is going to give the structure of the database, logical structure. That means how the tables, collection of tables in a database is organized or linked together and how the data are stored, organized and manipulated. Simple database model database collection of tables and the collection of tables are pretty logical structure. That is, in the manner of the tables are linked to the data store, how are organized, how are manipulated, how are the structure form the database model. So, in your book, you are having four types. Hierarchical database model, network database model, relational database model, object oriented database model. Let's see one by one. First one, hierarchical database model. In this model, each record has information in parent, child, relationship, like a tree structure. So what's the meaning? Do you remember our inheritance in C++? The base class and the derived class. Like that, like that. I'm giving an example. It, actually, it is not object oriented. I'm giving the example as a parent and the child. That means college, there is a table. From the college, another table is friend, that is department and the infrastructure. From the department, three tables are formed, that is schools, teachers and students. From the course, there is a theory and labs. This formation of table structure is said to be hierarchical database model. It is said to be tree structure or parent-child structure. The famous hier hierarchical database model was IMS, IBM's first DBMS. This model, each record has information in parent-child relationship like a tree structure. This structure allows one to many relationship between two types of data. So what are the advantage? Less redundant data. So less duplicate data. Maximum there won't be any unnecessary data. Efficient search. If, if, uh, if there is a need for a data, it can be searched efficiently. Data integrity and security. So data are in an integrated manner and the security is good. Then, what will be the disadvantage? Complex to implement and difficulty in handling many to many relationships. So, hierarchical database la, uh, advantages are not there. One disadvantage is that one to many relationship are Many to many relationship are in the database model la implement pandra the difficult. Then, next one is network database model. This model is same as the hierarchical model. The only difference is that a record can have more than one parent. So, what is the disadvantage in hierarchical model is become an advantage here. That disadvantage is 
no more now that means in network database one parent can have many number of records linked can you see the store it is linked with the customer manager and salesman again the customer and manager is linked with the order salesman also linked with the order so first developed network data model was IDS integrated data store at Honeywell so the network model is similar to hierarchical model except that in this model each member can have more than one owner the many to many relationships are handled in a better way it replaces the hierarchical tree with a graph this model identified the three database components so in a network database model there will be three database components what are they network schema sub schema language so what is the meaning of network schema it defines all about the structure that means the overall design of the database how the database is interlinked and what are the tables present next one is sub schema it controls on the view of the database for a user that means if the table is interlinked with many tables there must be a view for a particular table simply we can say it as a restriction or a derived data only for a database uh, network database model all table in the format la link a irukano enna structure la and the tree irukano and the graph irukano nu solradhu network schema sub schema abina for example ipo inga store and customer manager salesman idu moonu link a irukla inda customer la irundhu manager la irundhu sales la irundhu order ngra table link a irukku ipo inda customer la irundhu order ngra table ku varumbodhu inda order table edha motto view pannu abingra view kudukradha sub schema adhaadhu andha view va form pandra design is it clear so language basic procedural for accessing the database so all the three together form the network database model so what is the advantage here the ability to handle more relationship types each data access easy data access data integrity and independence the disadvantage this network model is difficult in design and maintain because of the many to many relationship the design is very difficult and it should, the maintenance also very difficult so what will be the next relational database model so oracle and db2 a few commercial relational models in use based on relational database model relational model is defined with the two terminologies one is instance another one is schema so what is the instance the collection of information stored in a database at a particular moment is said to be instance then what is a schema it's the specific it specifies the structure that means the structure of the table how the row how many rows are there how many call how many records are going to be there this this structure is said to be the schema can you see here uh, three tables one is student id name age subject id name teacher student id and subject id are linked with the another table as student id subject id and marks this type of linking is a relationship is said to be database model relational model is the most widely used model in this model the data is maintained in the form of two dimensional table all the information is stored in the form of rows and columns the basic structure of a relational model is table i hope you know very well this line so the tables are also called relations in the relational model so what is the advantage this model is more simple as compared to the network and hierarchical model so next database model is object oriented the real world problems are more easily represented through the object oriented data model in this model both the data and relationship are present in a single structure known as an object that means data and relationship 
are present in a single structure known as an object. We can store audio, video, images, etc. in the database. In this model, two or more objects are connected through links. We use this link to relate one object to other object. Most probably, all the online shopping websites, the database are maintained based on this object-oriented database model. Can you see the example? Employee, it is having the attributes and methods. Department, and it is having the attributes and methods. You can recall your object in C++. A class is a collection of data members and member functions. Same, attributes and methods here also. So, name, job title, phone number, salary, department ID or the attributes. Methods or get higher change number. Here the department having attributes like department ID, department name, methods or change department. So, the department ID in the employee and the department ID in the table department are interlinked. That means it can be linked and the data can be stored, organized and manipulated in object-oriented database model. It is very easy when compared with all the three, hierarchical, network, relational. Among, uh, apart from all the three, object-oriented database model is the real-time work which is in current field. But we cannot say that these uh, network table or the hierarchical is not in use. It is also used in many places. But the most wanted thing is object-oriented database model. Let's have a recap. Database models. Hierarchical database model. Record has relationship like a tree structure. Network database model. Record has relationship like a graph structure. Relational database model. The data is maintained in the form of two-dimensional table. Object-oriented database model. Data and relationship are present in a single structure known as an object. I hope you have understood this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.